Yo, what is going on family? It is your boy Kevy, and we are back with a brand new video. It has been a super long time since I have made a formal uh, informative content video, especially on the Cronus Den. We are going to plug it in today and try it out. I have not played video games that much, probably in like the past two months. Um, even during my Cronus videos, I wasn't playing all that much. I was just making my videos getting off. Well, I just got a brand new 10 foot desk. I might show you at the end of the video if I remember. But I got a 10 foot desk, I got it all set up, and then I realized I was like, dang, dude, like, I don't even want to, like, sit at my computer right now. I don't know what's going on. I just, I need to get away. I need to get a mental break. It's super important for your health to get away and get off the computer and quit looking at your phone all the time. Get outside, get some sunlight. Guys, it is so important to take care of yourself. And on top of that, go spend time with family. Family is important. Family isn't always going to be there. So do what you got to do. Let gaming be something you can appreciate. If you spend every waking minute on this and you are grinding towards something, then keep grinding. But if you're just playing to have fun and you're doing it all the time and you're kind of neglecting everything else that involves your life, you should really kind of just take a step back. Go acknowledge all those things. Go take care of it. Go spend time with family. It's super important, guys. I'm serious. Um, I've been fortunate enough that my views over the past two, three months where I haven't even really been posting... Um, I've still been getting some passive income off this, so I'm pretty grateful for that. So thank you guys so much. I know you guys have had a ton of questions regarding the values on the Cronus. Um, I'm kind of referring to the script I posted. Um, that was the last video I did before I posted my end of BH Kevy video. If you guys watched the BH Kevy video, um, I wouldn't say it was super sad, but you know that was like a really short period in my life where. Um, I guess I could say I was pretty upset and sad and I had a lot of mixed emotions, but you know, right now in life, things I would say are 20 times better than they've ever been. So sometimes whenever you guys go through things in life, just know that it might be a blessing in disguise. You know, um, I, I've had one best friend at like the peak of his, of his thing right now. Shout out to double a, my boy was number seven in the top phase 100 guys. If you don't know who double a is. That is one of my best friends. I grew up with him um, around the time of whenever he got out of high school is when we really started to click up. And uh, dude, he he's about to join FaZe. And I'm, I'm manifesting that now. So if you are watching this video, go look at Double A. Um, I know this is a Fortnite stuff, but he was a goat at Fortnite. And he's an even bigger goat at COD. So make sure you guys go hit him up. But yeah, man. I, I remember when Double A, um, me, he joined BH after me. And granted, he was probably one of the best players on BH. Um, and you know, a lot of a lot of BS happened. I'm gonna be straight up. A lot of BS happened, and uh, he ended up not being a part of BH anymore over a lot of stupid little things. And um, he said, she said things going on. But you know, I I ha I probably had the best idea on like the whole situation. And, you know, I saw how much that hurt him, and then now seeing him just doing what he is now guys just because something bad happens in your life doesn't mean that you don't have something prepared for you even better coming up next so without further ado let's get into the video i just want to say thank you guys so much for just the constant support if you're a returning subscriber thank you for just kind of staying with it, staying with me i haven't been here in a couple months and uh you know this is one of those things where it's like if you disappear for a minute um you kind of get forgot about so if you're still here i appreciate the hell out of you i love you guys let's get into it all right, so one of the first things that I kind of um, saw in my comments was about the delay. They wanted me to make a video specifically about the delay, but guys, this is a super, super easy um, fix. But one thing you must know, the lower you put the delay, the harder it is for the script to work um, at such a fast rate. So if you do do this, you might see a little less performance in the Zen um, software, but I'm going to show you real quick. So you guys will go up here. Go to tools go to device monitor right here you're gonna get a little pop-up right here it'll say cpu load 11 percent vm speed 10 milliseconds so when you first plug in a zen you are getting a 10 millisecond delay and i know a lot of you spend all this money on your monitors blah 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 you don't want 10 milliseconds that is totally understandable and the reason why people didn't like the way my my videos looked is because i didn't play on 10 milliseconds you can't triple edit you can't do any of it. I mean, you can, but it's just a lot harder. Like, you have to do everything with your map out. And right here, I went to about, I would go from about six to seven. And the only reason I say that is because if you go anything lower than like five, um, 
the Zen pretty, pretty much doesn't work. So if you have a script out there that's like really optimized for like super, super fast speed processing, um, that might be your way to go. But right now, um, with the dog's fighter, this is a very good, um, six or seven is probably your best number that you're going to want to do. So I'll put that on six, close out of that, um, right here. I go into this. So right now we're going to open up dog's fighter five in the compiler. Um, once you guys have all your binds set up and all that stuff, I will show you right here the values of the aim assist of what I usually rock. Okay, so right here you're going to see um, power, boost power, speed, and boost speed. I, for the life of you, cannot tell you exactly what each one of these do, but what I can tell you is that 4, 2, 4, and 4 is probably the lowest I, I can go, um, especially with a dead zone that's so low. I usually play on a dead zone that's like 6 or 5. Um, sometimes even above that, but right now, since this is like the auto script, it's going to set you at nine dead zone. If you guys play a lower dead zone, you need to make sure you put it lower. If you guys play higher, you need to make sure you put it higher. Um, the values you can adjust on the game pack. I just don't have a camera to set up to show you guys exactly how the game pack works. Um, but you'll just click L2 and start and it'll, it'll send your controller out of Fortnite mode and it'll send you right to the game pack. And you can adjust the values in the game pack. And um, yeah, pretty much that that's it. And what you guys really have a problem with is you guys will take these values. And you're like, dude, I want the best aim assist out there. So you guys boost all these up, right? Turn the recoil up. And then you get this really shaky aim assist. And you're like, okay, this thing is crap. Well, the truth is you, you probably just want a little bit of help. If you guys have been playing this game for so long, your aim is already decent, you know? You just wonder why, like, these fools never miss their shots. And it's mostly keyboarders. I know I know a lot of people complain about controller players, but keyboard is, like, the alpha thing of Fortnite right now. And it's going to be for a while. I know there's still good controller players out there. It's just getting harder and harder, especially with the skill gap. And if you don't play Claw, um, I guarantee you're probably having a rough time just adapting to everything new that goes on in this game. Now... If I played this game every day, I would just go in here and adjust my dead zone on here. That way I didn't have to change it every time on the game pack. So if you do change it on the game pack, unfortunately, you can't save it permanently. Every time you turn off your computer, it's going to have you reset. So what you'll do is you'll go off, you'll go into here and you'll adjust those. Well, it'll permanently set those once you set it to that game pack. But um, all these, you can see all these things. I have them off, off, any recoil. I have them, I have it on. I don't really know if it helps. I want to say it does. Um, the drop shot, jump shot, all this stuff. It's kind of like whatever. Rapid fire, I've never used it even though it's on. You guys do want build mode tracker on or else your thing is going to um your thing is going to shake while you're building and all that stuff. So it's really good to have build build tracker on. Um all these time resets and fast resets. If you guys learn how to optim like get it optimized and set it up to where it actually works, um then you're chilling, but I feel like I've had a lot of problems with it. I've been able to set up the fast reset, but I have had to switch my binds and I was like, okay, no, I, it ain't that worth it for me. I'm just going to go back to my old stuff. But yeah, this is pretty much all the stuff you can turn off and on. But yeah, other than that, that's a pretty good, uh, little explanation. There's really nothing else in here. I would suggest messing with, um, on this script, you can use touchpad. So you just have to go over here and make sure that it's set to PS4 underscore touch, which is right here. PS4 touch says right here. That's my edit button. So obviously that's what it is. Okay. But now that we're, now that we're through with this, let's get into our game.
Holy crap, man. That yellow got bright. Immaculate timing, my friend. Dude, I had a bunch of chug splashes. Alright, GG's. Alright, if you guys are back for good, I don't know if I'm back for good, but if you watch this video all the way through, DM me on Twitter, Kevy underscore underscore is my at. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.